friends, welcome back. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Christine of Side Street Market, and I have an antique mall haul for you today. Sadly, my partner in crime, Michelle of Newton's Cupboard, has returned to Kentucky, so she couldn't join me for this haul, but this haul does come from our old stuff antiques in Holly Hill, Florida. We went there together, and my box is ticking because I have a clock in here and it's freaking me out. Tick, tick, I did not hear the ticking before. Oh my goodness. So, um, yeah, so we had fun. Um, this was one of the last days we had to go shopping together and we hit up three antique malls. It was our old stuff antiques and beehive antiques, which are in the same parking lot in Holly Hill, Florida. And then we took a little detour down to Daytona beach to uh, Nicole's beach street mall. And that's where I used to have a booth. So this video is just our old stuff antiques where I spent about $220. There's quite a bit for me. I got glass. I know, I know, I know. I need more glass, but I got me some Empoli glass. I don't know if I'm saying it right. I don't know if I'm spelling it right, but I've never seen it in person. So I picked up three pieces for me. Um, there may be a few other art pieces. I think there's a lot in this bin that's for me, but you guys will get a really good idea of my style from the items I picked out. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and get this haul started because this may be like a half hour haul. And I'm gonna probably try to just put this on the ground because it's pretty heavy. And then I have some new carts that I'm hoping to use to put stuff on. So let's just get organized here, people, because clearly I'm not organized today. Okay, we have a cart ready. We have a Chappie co-piloting next door. So <clears throat> actually, let me go grab something real quick. Boom, I'm back, the magic of YouTube. Whew, my allergies are bothering me today. I need a little bit of water, these lights are a little warm. Okay, so for a change, I know sometimes I tell you guys what I pay, sometimes I don't, but for this one I thought I could at least give you an idea on what some of the prices were. Now, what was nice was when we walked in, the owner, Brian, who is very nice. He would have let us, I'm sure he would have less filmed if we asked, but um, we really just kind of want to enjoy the antique mall because there was so much to see. And I'm sure when you see Michelle's video, she'll say the same thing. It was just, you really had to look because there was stuff everywhere. But Brian has let me film there once before. You guys can go back and check that out. So my total was $240 this day. And I'm pretty sure I got one, two, three, four, five, six. So I ended up with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve items. And I'm pretty sure like nine out of twelve I'm keeping. So just just come along with me. This is the first item I picked up. Squeaker alert. She is a blonde haired, blue eyed artist. I just redid my craft studio, guys. I couldn't not get her. Um, she was marked 15, but I think they gave her to me for 12. So like I said, everything over $20 was 20% off. Plus there were several vendors working, filling their booths. And they were like, if you see something, let me know. I can do better on the price. So on the glass pieces, I actually got those for a little cheaper. And a couple of the squeakies, the lady was there. And what was neat about her is she's actually from Louisiana. And she only comes in three times a year to stock her booth herself, but she leaves, leaves bins for the shop and they add stuff to her booth. And her booth is actually one of my favorites when I go in there because she has toys and vintage and I've just, okay. Soplast Idol made in Uzbekistan, tested for safety. And the bottom's a little dirty, but she is for my art studio. At least for now, she will go in my art studio. We'll put her on the little cart. I just love that she was an artist and like, I think it's a girl. We're gonna say it's a girl. I think it's a girl. Okay. Then we have a lampshade. And this lampshade actually goes to an chalkware owl base. The shade and an owl were $30. I am going to be selling them and breaking them apart. And um, so that $30 will get divided between the lamp, the vintage lampshade and the owl because I will be selling them separately. Maybe that one can go on the bottom down here. Nope, I'm just gonna set stuff up here for now because that's not working. Okay. 
I'm trying to be very careful. Okay, so here is my first piece of Empoli glass. Now the guy said this was Empoli. All right, and again, because I'm not prepared. I'm sorry, I'm so scattered. I don't have my sidekick Michelle here to help keep me organized. I forgot my black light. Okay, so this was my first piece of Empoli I got. The bottom does, it's all cadmium. It needs a cleaning, but I thought, look how big this is. So this guy was marked as $18. So let's see, Empoli red glass, I got this for $15. And it is huge, guys. So this is going to be beautiful. I'm thinking at Christmas time. I may put some snow in it and do something maybe with some of the Christmas trees behind me, but this is definitely going in my permanent glass collection. I am really, really, really excited for that. And then this guy will be for resale, made in Hong Kong. It's a Cupie doll. It's a cute little Cupie. And I think this one costs me eight. So I'd probably put this one at 25 to 30 once I look it up. But it's just a little cutie doll. Isn't she cute? And the lady did give me the $2 off. So this was one item that will be for resale. That is for sale. It just needs a little bit of a cleanup. And you know what? The head looks like it may not belong to the body. There's a little bit of a glue mark on the side. But she was just too cute. Look at that little face. And now this actually may not be... I heard that only when they have the blue, blue wings they're a cutie. And there is, okay, so I may not do the 25 to 30 because there are a few imperfections. She may be more just in the like $20 range because she is a bigger one, like $19.99. I did pay eight for it. That at least doubles my money and covers fees. So there she is. We'll put her by her little squeaker friend. She needs just a little magic eraser on the hair there. And then this guy is ticking and ticking and ticking and ticking. So this is an owl clock. It was marked 38, but I got it for $28. So this one I may have overpaid on, but I think I'm going to try to start it at $49.99 on my eBay because it is really cool. It is plastic. It is Burwood Products, MCM, LX, XII. And it's the, look at the eyes on the mom and the babies. And it does work because it is ticking away. Or I might keep this and put this above my sink for a while. Because it's pretty darn cool. I actually might put this in my kitchen, guys. Do you think I should put this in my kitchen? Because I collect owls. And I have this cat clock my mom gave me right now. Sorry, mom. But I might replace it with this for right now and put that cat clock in my um, tuxedo section. Because I think that would look really cute above my sink. And I did pay up for it. I paid $28 for it. So I feel like I might have pushed it, but I couldn't leave it behind. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. And then I did get a bit of Halloween. I paid up for this guy. He was $18. Originally March 20. But yeah, it, let's see. $18 owl, owl wall hanging. So this is, it's marked Made in USA. It's a Bestel, Bestel Co. So now I have the large owl. I mean, when you can find vintage Halloween, you have to grab it. So that's why I'm saying with the antique moles, a lot of the times I'll find one or two things for resale, like this one. But this one is really good to go in to touch and feel and see so many true vintage antiques. And then, you know, I may find a few things for resale. Okay. That's a Mama Gemma. Let's see what's in this little guy. Let's open some of the little ones first. Oh, this might be one of my chalkware. Oh, okay. This guy will be for resale. He is a little elf, an elf planter. I got him for 10, so he will probably be 25 to 30 because he is a pixie elf planter. Um, I'm not sure the maker. I'm going to have to look him up. 
So, so far this and the QP will be available for sale. I forgot about him. So it was even nice that when I got up there and so that, that little elf guy came from the same dealer and there's a little chip on the corner there that I did not see before. It's just in the back right there. But the same dealer, David, Dave, who um, had the glass was the one who had the elf too. So he was cutting us deals. So we did the owl clock, the cupid doll. And then I got this from my owl collection. I got quite a few. This one he they gave me for $8 because I collect now for my personal owl collection the ceramics I'm starting to look for are the 70s yellow pieces like this from different cities made in Japan this is a spoon rest and I got this one because it's New Orleans New Orleans and I thought that that was pretty cute so that'll go in here in my little owl collection so this thing you know we have been shopping for a couple of days so I really was just shopping for me this is one of my glass art glass pieces guys insane i don't even know i'm gonna go ahead and get this open and then i'll be right back because there's gonna be a lot of crinkling on this one all right guys i am back so this is what that giant one was it is this huge swung glass green stretched hobnail vase um it was marked 32 so let me see this one i ended up getting for 25 dollars this one was 25. Now this one I may end up reselling at some point, but for now, I think, oh my God, in my Halloween decor, if I could fit it in back there. Cause this guy, okay, so here's the base. This has gotta be at least two and a half feet tall. So that was exciting. Like I said, I got some, I definitely got some glass for me these days. It's just really neat. I didn't realize how big that guy <laughs> storage problems okay we have four items left so this is the chalkware owl light I will be selling that had that lampshade with it there's no maker's mark on the bottom it's like a ceramic chalkware this I paid with the lampshade was $30 But I definitely think I'd, I'd want some sort of different lampshade for this guy. But I had, it was a day of owls. They had so many owls. I was just having way too much fun. And that owl thing is still ticking and driving me insane. But they did really good wrapping everything up. So I appreciate that. I think the rest is all glass, guys. So I hope you don't mind that this is a whole of things I ended up buying for me. But I thought... You would still like to see kind of the things I picked out. Oh my God. Okay, so this is another piece of glass and it's in poly and it's blue. Look at that beauty. Look at that beauty. I don't know if this one does, nope, does not glow but like with a votive in that. So this one was marked 32 and I got it for 25. So this was the most expensive glass. I So this and the green swung vase, I paid 25 each for. So that right there was $50 in my budget. And then the red one was 15. So that's 65. So you can see how I added up quick, but I mean, talk about gorgeous guys. I've, I've been looking for more pieces to give height and texture to my collection when I bring it back out. So this is just gonna be, see it says in poly. But like I said, you know, I do have to double check, but even just next to the green, just look at that together. I can't even. Michelle was laughing at me with all the glass. And then the guy was nice enough to put it in a bin and carry it out for me so I didn't, you know, trip and take out everything. So I think I have two more glass pieces. <laughs> See what happens when you let Newton's Cupboard and I go shopping on Chaperone, guys? Oh, yeah. Ugh. 
talk about Halloween. Look, look at this. Look at this. So this with the green guy, and again, it's got to be at least 18 inches. Now, someone had put a $15 sticker on here, and then we saw he had the 38 up here, but he gave it to me for 15. So my glass, so now we're up to, we were at 50. Now we're at $80 so far for the green. And I mean, just look at these together, how pretty that's going to be. And I think these bigger guys, I'm going to clear off above my bookcases and start putting the really tall ones up there. I couldn't even, it was just so beautiful. Just, my brain is still like. And the orange and the green for Halloween, I could even incorporate that into my display up there. So I'll, I'll spare you from glass for a minute. I got this from my gallery wall. It is one of those 70s kind of prints on wood. It was marked 22 and they gave it to me for 18 which was like the 20% off. So I've been looking for another brown piece of art for my gallery wall to replace a blue picture I have. So that will be for me. So I guess all I really have for sale right now, guys, out of all of this is the chalkware. The, and I believe it's chalkware. I think Michelle and I were trying to figure it out. We believe this is a chalkware owl light lampshade, the Cupid doll, and the little elf are all available. And then this was my last item. I didn't even realize I got this. Oh, this isn't glass, guys. This isn't glass. So that was all the glass I got. Now this, okay, some of you know I have a chalkware pig collection. You will have seen by now that I got the piggy bank that looks like Miss Piggy in the chalkware. So that's what I collect. I don't collect pigs. I collect the like 30s to 50s style chalkware pig banks where the pigs are wearing like overalls, dresses, and the plastic ones. This one has been at that mall for a while, like over a year or so. I think I saw it when I was there. It may have been six or seven months ago, but I've seen it there and I just didn't pull the trigger on it. Well, the lady who had the Cupid doll from Louisiana was there and I told her, you know, she's like, is there anything else you might like? And I said, well, I've been eyeballing this guy for my collection and I showed her a picture of my collection. So it is another female chalkware pig bank. Check her out. She is just super cool. She's not as voluptuous as the Miss Piggy, but she still is styling. And she was marked 45 and I think they gave her to me, yeah, for $32. And she said it's from the 40s or 50s. So this was my last item, guys. So that was my haul from Our Old Stuff Antiques. I really love going in there to learn. I do usually find a couple of items for resale. A lot of the times I buy for me. It was really awesome that they had so much, uh, that they had sales going on. Because still those glasses were a great deal. And down the road, I could end up wanting to flip them and sell them. And they were really great prices. So that's it, guys. That is my haul from Our Old Stuff Antiques. Thanks so much for hanging out with me and watching this video. I'll check for when Michelle releases her haul from there. And I'll be sure to link that below. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up, guys. And I'll be back with you soon.